These are the three most popular racing games on Steam right now. These are the next four and Forza Horizon 4 is in here. Which obviously brings me to, why the hell are people still playing Horizon 4? I also thought this would be a cool little throwback session and ultimately playing this game for the first time properly in such a long time time this is where seasons were properly introduced i don't think it's the seasons that are keeping people around oh not this <laughs> the festival playlist is the first thing that welcomes me back to this game and it has really not changed <laughs> that much i am kind of curious though what are they putting in here because they're clearly not going to be updating this right so it looks like old cars that are basically being put in here which would kind of make sense the mini countryman yeah people are not playing this <laughs> Welcome back, monkey. God, it is so weird to be back here in... There's another player right there straight away. It is so weird to be back in Forza Horizon 4. I'm definitely going to call it 5 at some point. Straight away, it feels just like I remember. <laughs> just like Forza Horizon 5, but uh, may, supposedly British. I guess it's kind of raining. This is clearly one of the highlights of this game that it has over Forza Horizon 5. We have got a proper city and a pretty unique one at that. Old and rusty and crusty. Edinburgh was in Forza Horizon 4 and actually called Edinburgh, which is kind of weird. I've never really seen many games do that. They'll usually call it the Steveland, but it's actually supposed to be that you get the idea. One of the last things I did on this game is buy Edinburgh Castle because this game wants like previous and current Forza games, it throws you a hell of a lot of... Wait, I thought I did buy it. And you'd still have to allow full access to the... I definitely bought this. I've been conned. I've been conned here. But I don't think Edinburgh Castle is the reason that people are still playing Forza Horizon. Because you can't walk around and... Clearly, I can't drive. And I just want to say, these menus, very similar as well. But these are actually... A bit easier to okay i'm gonna i'm gonna take that but i don't know if that's true or not <laughs> they're kind of the same right is it because of forza horizon 4's very incredible cross-country races <laughs> something tells me no but hey I, let's give it a go in the supreme bmw x6 absolutely useless house Makes no sense whatsoever. Like the people playing this game. But you might be like, oh, actually, maybe people didn't see a use in buying Forza Horizon 5. Maybe that's why they, they prefer Forza Horizon 4 or they bought Forza Horizon 4 cheaper than you can get 5. Those are very valid. However, what would the numbers look like on Game Pass? Like, I'm kind of curious. And one thing I've noticed is the complete... Oh, uh... This is going well. A mission of grass. It, I caught on to it and it was like, let me just quit the game. <laughs> or is it to do with the Lego expansion? In my opinion, I'm going to say this right now. Today, my friends, this is by far the best expansion that Forza has ever created and might possibly ever create. Oh, piss. And I can actually see grass here. Can this countdown piss off? Okay, monkey. Not only is this one of the best uses of the Lego license, probably still to this day. I don't know, there's just some proper charm about it. And actually, I always said, and I still think to this day, that the Forza Horizon Forza engine and its kind of lack of reflections, like paint style in this era, it works perfectly for these Lego. Like, they, they look so realistic, the Lego. <laughs> and we can't forget the first time they added a track to the open world. A first proper track. And in my opinion, still the best kind of track integrated into a Forza map. It's super interesting. There's a hell of a lot going on and I can drive around in Lego cars and they're not in Lego cars. Why? Why? Oh, mate, look at that. <laughs> I completely forgot they did the bloody interior and the wheel and stuff as well. It looks great. But considering actual Lego games exist, there's bloody Lego Fortnite. I don't exactly know if Lego would be the reason that people are jumping back into Forza Horizon 4. And I say back, maybe they just never left. Piss. Come on! Yes! Easy, mate! Sorted it! Ah. I forgot about this finish. Oh my god, where's it going? <laughs> I kind of prefer the end screens in this game still, to be honest. Like, the, you in seeing the big screen. I don't know. I think it's kind of fun. I'm going to say you're probably not on this, but it's definitely one of the pulling reasons, because it's fun or maybe it's to do with fortune island said nobody ever okay look, look, look. 
bringing down <laughs> the memes a little bit. Fortune Island was a unique DLC in where they, well, added an island where it rains. Got a very special storm on it, like three other DLCs they did. And the overall idea is to essentially find things and do races and... I'm gonna be honest, it's a pretty wank DLC. This is not, this is definitely not the reason why. <laughs> Sorry, turn 10, but this was an absolute no from me. <laughs> See if he's better. That's still probably my favorite Xbox game today. Is it possibly the unique events, the showcase events? Because I'm gonna be honest, from memory, the showcase events or the similar events in Forza Horizon 5 we're nowhere near as fun as these. Saying that, these were nowhere near as fun as the previous and the previous. They've kind of been watered down as we go through. But we can't ignore the fact that ultimately these events, once you've done them once, are quite frankly very similar. We know they're scripted and you can't really lose. We've raised jets and then I remember one game. It's like, yeah, let's raise blimps. <laughs> what? You can't go from one then the other. I've got to say though, I really love the old kind of English countryside buildings. It's properly unique saying that. Guanajuato is also very unique and people didn't like that. So they did a really good job in terms of the color palette and stuff of this. It feels properly British. Coming back to it, compared to Forza Horizon 5, it's kind of easy to forget if you take a gap between the games, but like coming back to this, I see it. Like the signposts, the, the brown and the, hey, that horse thing. I've not seen that before, but I think I'm quite close. This is such a mishmash of England. <laughs> or should I say Britain? Gotta keep the Scots happy, Anna. <laughs> I was about to say away, man, but that's... I'm sorry. It's close enough. They're like half breed English and Scottish people, right? In terms of accents. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna just shut my mouth. <laughs> please, please ignore. Bro. <laughs> that was a really terrible shot. I completely just slowed down. It triggered it completely wrong. I genuinely am trying to figure it out though. In essentially, a lot of Forza Horizon is quite the same. And ultimately, the peak of the series is, well, probably now in terms of the amount of players. I'm sure over time as Game Pass expands, people are gonna dip in. But like, I think it's pretty safe to say that a lot of people are getting a little bit tired of the formula. However, they may completely change it up in terms of the next game. That would kind of be a welcome Thing. But at the same time, surely there are more people they've still got to discover when it comes to Forza Horizon. There's always going to be more people, right? Right? I wonder if he won. Let's, uh... I don't know, actually. Did I... Oh! Oh, look at oh, that. Fantastic. I mean, that's realistically the reason Xbox is putting their games over on PlayStation. They announced, well, they didn't really announce which games, but they said four of them are coming to the PlayStation and Nintendo Switch, showing clearly they need to get games into more hands to make some more money. What better way than plop in Forza Horizon that I don't think it's one of the four that have been mentioned. But I do think they will be coming in the future. Maybe they'll be like, the previous Forza Horizon game will come to PlayStation once the new one is out. That would probably be a pretty smart move, making you kind of want to jump across and cross play, cross save. But it'd also be kind of funny if they did that and then Forza Horizon 5 remained more popular than Forza Horizon 6 because there's just more people on the other platform. The amount of people that have kind of wanted Forza Horizon on PlayStation for a while. Again, it's funny in that I always like, no, 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 that would be, that's stupid. They're never going to do that, but they actually could now because Sea of Thieves is coming across. That's definitely one of them. I'm so excited about that. The more people that play Sea of Thieves, the better. At least I haven't played it in a while, so I'm definitely going to go back to that probably this evening. So one of the other big things that I definitely need to mention that's in this game that isn't in Forza Horizon 5, and it's quite a weird one, is ranked. So if you are a really sweaty, sweaty gamer and you like the more arcadey physics, say Forza Horizon over Forza Mo who who's playing Forza Mo Ranked basically isn't available in Forza Horizon 5. Like to any capacity from, from what I know, it was removed. The reason the others are unavailable is because, well, I'm not level three. Uh, so <laughs> yeah, the game does look really stunning. It's, you know, I'm gonna say, I think it might look better than Forza Horizon 5. Just in terms of the environment, the varying colors, 
the seasons really don't change the color palette of the world in the way that this game does. In fact, it kind of does, but I would say it's too far one way. Everything goes brown or everything goes, well, I, I mean, there's varied areas. It doesn't really have the seasons in the same way, so I kind of get it. England is the perfect place to place seasons obviously so no one wants to do the ranked team games at least which actually is one of my favorite memories from the previous forza games is i like activities and collaborative work like that maybe a little bit more than i like racing anyway you have to get to level three in one of these so let's go for for example free for all racing mostly because i don't trust people to not spin me i mean five seconds even though i'm on their damn team I found one straight away. Oh, bro, quick, 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 quick. Ah, uh, Evo. Yes. <laughs> Let's get going. Now, I will also say, are the events in progress? I will wait. As someone that really loved Most Wanted 2012's multiplayer, please don't take that for out of context. The multiplayer layout in that game was just awesome of doing different types of events not just races and team events and solo events and driving from a to b the first person to get there and switch their car is the win if you don't switch your car you might be slow if you do switch your car you get the idea overall but i really do like that multiplayer but anyway this may be one of the reasons that people return to this game it is gonna be a proper sweat fest <laughs> on the competitive side but you don't have to play Forza Motorsport. It's kind of a win-win. Once again, to be clear, this is not the competitive mode because I am not high enough level in the standard mode. <laughs> but the fact that I got into this game super quickly, hey, it ghosted me. Hey, that's sick. I forgot they did all of that in this game because I feel like they completely scrapped it in the next game, which to be fair, a lot of it was quite annoying, but it, oh, stop, no. But it, of course it did help. I hate the checkpoints. I hate them so much. Let me go wide. Let me go wide. Why are you ghosting me? You. It don't fucking help anything, does it? You're a bellin. Piss off into a tree, you f Right, I'm going to quit this. I fucking hate it. <laughs> it's really hard to say exactly why people are jumping back to Forza Horizon 5. Other than, as I say, the competitive. They prefer England. The game was cheaper. And ultimately, they have more friends that still played the previous game. But I think the most important takeaway from all of this, this is super, super huge. For the longest time, Xbox delisted Forza games very quickly. In fact, we hadn't had a motorsport we could buy for the last four years recently. Because they would build the games and then chuck them away. And I think if that's one advantage that Game Pass brings is constant money for old games because if we're talking about steam here the steam player count will be the smallest of the player counts maybe the biggest on pc but generally it will be the smallest of the player counts and normally when a game gets delisted or thrown away after a couple of years and it's due to licensing like car licensing or music lessons because the games keep getting thrown out and thrown out and thrown out they missed a chance on selling these games to more fucking people When's the last time you could buy Blur or you could buy Most Wanted 2005, Need for Speed Carbon, the amount of people that ask me on the daily, how do I buy Driver San Francisco? How do I buy Gran Turismo 5, Gran Turismo 6? In the case of those last two games, thankfully you can go and buy a physical copy, but more and more games are always online, like The Crew, which is about to be delisted and you'll never be able to play that game again unless some modders, you know, have their way, which I'm really hoping and praying. It might be time that Xbox has finally realized and are maybe the first to realize that if you keep games listed and purchasable for a longer time, you can keep making money for them for years. To I just killed that man for years to come. That's the most important thing. Remember that. All of you, check out the previous Forza videos if you're into it. I'm sure you will like this one.